Welcome back everybody, time to update you guys on the money guide that we did a couple of days ago. Now we did do a really really good money guide on how to get a lot of money very very quickly, about 600k per hour, but a lot of people were finding it difficult to find the sisters in some places. And this is the video here, in this video I actually focused on one area which was Obsidian Fieldlands, and I showed all three places where the sisters can spawn in the Obsidian Fieldlands. however this video is going to update you guys to help you out on that, to show you where the actual sisters that spawn in every single area, all three of them in all five areas. So let's get to it. So I'd really like to thank everyone in my community who actually chipped in with a couple of pictures here and there of the sisters during their gameplay. I did request that over on Discord. A bunch of people did submit pictures and that really, really helped me find them. So I can 100% confirm that every sister that we have located in this video, I have personally confirmed. I've managed to go through every single one of them. I found every single one of them in all the right places and we've mapped them all out. So let's go ahead and start with the first place, Obsidian Field Lands. Let's go ahead here. And I've put them all on the map, so I'll show you guys the map, and then I'll show you a route that I would take to get them all as well if I was to farm the Nuggets. So we're gonna go straight over to the middle camp here, and you can see those Pokeballs on my map. That's where the sisters spawn, and something that's very, very important to note is, if we go turn our back here, and we'll go to the first sister area. The very, very important thing to note is that the sisters don't just have one place that they stand. They actually can spawn in a localized radius here. So, for example, the first sister that we're here for can stand under these rocks, right? Or she can stand over here. So the radius is still very, very small. If you're flying around looking for them, you'll see them because they also have a speech bubble. So you will not have a problem finding them at all. So going from the first sister, we're going to go all the way over here along the path. Keep going up here to the next set of rocks and again you can like see the map here we can see our pokeball uh, which if we zoomed in for your convenience too you can see it like that i'll do this for all the maps as well guys to make it more convenient for everybody as well so you can take screenshots or whatever you can save them on your desktop you name it the second sister spawns by these rocks she can be standing down there by the rocks or she can be standing up here on this mound as well she's not here right now sadly but again you'll see the speech bubble and the third sister is continuing down the path further again and she will spawn right here by these rocks she can be by these rocks right here she can be behind these trees there there she is hey there she is let's go do her so that's one of them and bam. So good news about fighting these sisters. I actually did say that they'll all drop four nuggets in the past video. And it turns out sometimes they'll actually drop five. Now it seems to be random. And I think I only got five from the sister, the oldest sister, who has two Pokemon. And not always. So it's really, really random. Okay, I don't know what, what it is specifically that means she gives me five instead of four. But yes, you can get five nuggets. So we're just going to knock one out here. Very, very easy four nuggets, if at least, from this sister, and obviously only one out of three spawn. Another piece of information is, you can get a randomized number of them to spawn in the map at any time. So you can get zero, which is seems to be the case for some people. You can get one, you can get two, and you can get all three. You can get any combo of those possible spawns in each map, guys. So always check out all the spawns when you're doing a farm. And that's why this video is going to come in handy. You're going to be able to find them all very, very easily. So let's get past this and let's go to the second area. Let's see how many she gives me. She gives me, or she drops, uh, five. Hey, we got five. Yay. <laughs> we got five nuggets. Next area, guys, is going to be Crimson Mirelands. Now, this was the hardest one because for some reason for me, the sisters almost never spawned here. Or I just could not find them. But now that we have the locations, it's a lot easier. However, again, the route for farming the sisters is obviously much, much easier in the first zone. The rest of them are a little spaced out. So looking at the map, guys... We got one over here in Gape Jaw Bog. We got one in the middle right here off off Bog Camp there. And then we got one over here in the flowers in Cotton Sedge Prairie. So let's go ahead and do our route. And the sister, the first sister, spawns around here in the trees by the edge here. She's not here right now. So moving on to the next one, we'll just pop our fly again and go right across here, which if we look at our map, is right over here. And this is on the little more, more elevated section. If you're flying over the bog here, it's, on a, it's a bit of an elevation, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but again, you can also go from the camp, the second camp, and go right over here. Now, let's just 
Do fly one more time. We're gonna have to do that one more time. And again, keep in mind the radius that they can spawn in a few different places. Do keep that in mind. Yeah, she's right over here. So she can spawn on this little elevated part with the blue rocks where I'm gonna start standing right now. She can spawn here. And she can also spawn over by this tree here with her back facing the other way. So they will face different directions too. Keep that in mind. And the last one is going to be straight over again across the map over these mounds. And if we find our Pokeball over here, it's going to be over here. And we go over our own camp. So we can just fly all the way over here. So this would be the route I would take if I was farming in Crimson Mirelands. You can see the ridge over here. You want to fly over that because we're going to go in into the flower beds in here. There, you can see them now. And the third sister would spawn right around here in the flower beds, possibly on this ledge here and around here near the trees. Third area is going to be Cobalt Coastlands. Sadly for Cobalt Coastlands, it's actually the worst one to farm because the terrain is so awkward to get around and the sisters are so spaced out. And you'll see what I mean in a second. We're getting a lot of stormy weather here. So one sister spawns down here by Hideaway Bay in that little section there and I'll show you guys. And then another one spawns over here on the opposite side of the bay here, Castaway Shore. And another one spawns on the opposite side of the cliffs, the mountain in the spring path. So let's go ahead and try Like this is just super, super awkward to get to. So we're gonna go for the first camp for Hideaway Bay and I'll show you general area of where the she spawns so right in between this little gap here you'll see an alpha and then the person the sister will spawn right over here by these trees sorry around these trees right here with a node in between them so she, yeah she can spawn in a sort of a radius too again keep that in mind for the next sister we're gonna go all the way across the bay which is a long fly as well but it's just like directly across so she can spawn on these steps right here which you climb up and she can spawn around here too. So do keep in mind again, the radius. So if you were to go up these steps, you'll end up getting to the third sister, which is gonna be over in Spring Path. We'll have to fly over to her too, just to make it quick. Like, see, this is what I mean by how awkward this area is. It's kind of a mess. And also the stormy weather. <laughs> uh, you will get stormy weather plenty here, but it's okay. You'll still be able to see the speech bubbles. Keep that in mind. So the third sister will spawn right around here. She can either be in the corner or she can be on this little ledge right here. And you'll see where I am on the map right beside my camera in the corner there. All right, fourth area, guys, is going to be Coronet Highlands. Let's get over to there. And the three sisters here, actually, their spawns are pretty decent for farming. Uh, you kind of have a pretty straightforward path to follow to be able to find all of them. And it's easyish. It's probably the next easiest to farm after the first area. So at the mountain camp, guys, we can see the map and we can see the Pokeballs. One's right there there and there so they're on like the same path here and you can just take a sh little left and you'll find the third one so considering how big this area is this is extremely convenient for us to farm for the first one we're going to go around this little edge here right around right from the camp and we we can see her already let's go do her there she is bam all right we're just beating her now how many how many nuggets does she give me is the question i mean we got really lucky on the five there before because that's been really rare for me what a disgrace, exactly. Let's see how many she leaves for me. But we also, we, oh yeah, you also get a lot of experience doing this, so it's pretty nice. It's a good overlap if you're trying to farm some money, you will also get quite a lot of experience. How many nuggets does she give me? Or leave me, or drop me, or whatever, let's see. We get, we get, uh, five nuggets, no way, we get five nuggets again. <laughs> All right, so going from that fight, we'll just continue right around the way we were going originally. We'll go down this path, and if you look at our map, you can see the Pokeball, next Pokeball is right over here. Actually, don't go down, sorry. I was going the wrong way. We go up, and we go along the rocky area where you see all the rock and ground type Pokemon. Sorry, my bad. All the Onyxes and stuff. So we're along this path right here, and we'll find the next sister very, very soon, if she does spawn, of course. So we'll see the map there. And uh, she'll spawn around here. She can again. She can spawn right by the rocks. She can spawn. Oh, for God's sake. She can spawn by right by the rocks. She can spawn on the ledge or so. And uh, we do not have her in this run. So taking a hard left, we're going to go for the last one. And that's going to be right around this little bend here. And we can find this sister standing on this ledge right over here with the rocks are on this ledge here too. And she is not here either.
The final area, folks, Alabaster Icelands. Let's go ahead and show you the map for this one. So Alabaster Icelands looks like this. We've got one south of Avalug's Legacy, one in Icebound Falls, and one in Avalanche Slopes. If we zoom in, it's right over there, and actually a pouch spawns there too. The Icebound Falls is an easy one to find. You'll just be going along the path, and you'll be able to see them very clearly. And Avalanche Slopes is right north of Garchomp. I'll show you all of those now. So I recommend going from Ice Peak Camp, guys, and going south east from and past Avalug's legacy you go aiming for the mounds there there's little mounds in the wastes and just keep going go for the furthest left one of course the one I'm going for right here you'll see a little one a uh, little side of it go for the left side and you'll be able to find one of the sisters around here maybe spawning on this side here usually I've found her around here so that's where you're gonna find her yourselves. Continuing from the first sister, let's change our trajectory a little bit and go towards Icebound Falls. We are gonna have to go through the cave, so just aim for the cave area. So we can just actually fly straight into the cave. If you've been holding B, you'll actually be at the right height to just fly right into the cave like this. And we'll end up emerging to Icebound Falls where you can find Riolus, Machops, and the second sister will spawn up here or on the ground. So we don't have her this time. She might be up here, she might be on the ground here. So very, very easy to spot. And if we just want to get to the third sister, we can keep going. We can climb over here if we want to climb up the cliffs. If we can actually make it work. It's not that long and not that far at all. All right, so once you're up to the top of the cliff, just turn to your bird. And we're going to fly down here to the, toward that mound where you probably saw the Alolan Vulpix in one of the quests, if you did do the quests. And the, the last sister for this area will be right around here somewhere. So do look out for your bubbles. This should make it a lot easier for everybody to farm the nuggets. If they're not spawning and you've been trying to reset an area and they're just not spawning, try a different area and now you know where everyone is. But let's see how much we just made by doing this video. Of course, we go to the cell and one nugget is we have we have 80 nuggets from doing this one nuggets 10k and we earned 10 nuggets so in this video alone recording this i made a hundred grand but if we sell everything <laughs> we made 800 grand by just farming some i wasn't even farming them not really i'm just gonna say that straight up i was not really farming them i was just doing them I was looking for them. I just did them as I saw them a little bit. It was not that much, but we made 800k easy. All right, let's go ahead and sell those. Guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and drop a sub if you found it useful and you want more useful videos like this. I, I hope this makes it easier for you guys to get rich in the game. Of course, you do know Master Satchel is a super ripoff in the game, so you're going to be able to afford all the Satchel space you need and more. You'll be able to just buy all your Pokeballs. You'll never have to craft again. I hope it helps you guys. Till the next video. Bye.